Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of spiritual talk show. Broadcast on FM radio, internet websites, and print publications. I am well known for that celebrity interview. Interviews that we conduct in studio, by telephone, and by satellite with today's most fascinating people. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you on ValderBeebeShow.com. Good morning, Dr. Devin Sherman. I want to thank you guys for joining us and Bill Pumi. I'd like to let my audience know that Dr. Devin Sherman is a board-certified pulmonary disease, internal medicine, and in critical care medicine doctor. And Bill Pumi, he suffers from idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, or also known as IPF. I want to thank you guys for taking the time this morning to let me talk with you for my audience. Thank you very much. So if we could start medically with Dr. Sherman. Dr. Sherman, what is IPF? Well, IPF is a, is a disease that affects about 100,000 people in the United States each year. And it's a disease in which the lung, um, over time, becomes scarred down, fibrotic, uh, where it doesn't move well. Um, and as a result of that, people have increasing amounts of shortness of breath and oftentimes a cough. Um, and it can become quite debilitating over time. Do you have any numbers uh, that, that can help us to understand how widespread this is? Yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, if you looked at, I think the incidence of this disease is, is around 80 per 100,000 people. If you, you know, since it affects people in their 60s and 70s by far uh, most commonly, that number can get up to about 500 per 100,000 people. So it's not, a, it's not an everyday type of disease. It's not nearly as common as something like emphysema. Um, but it is something that we come across a, a reasonable amount of time. Well, I'm sure if you're affected by it like Bill is, you know, it makes it a, a, you know, a disease to take note of. Bill, let me ask you, you suffer from IPF. How long have you suffered from it? And tell us your story in a synopsis format. Sure. It was eight years ago when I was diagnosed. Um, it's just shortness of breath, um, just going up a flight of stairs. And uh, my GP sent me to a pulmonologist. They took x-rays, they did a CT scan, and they did a biopsy. And sure enough, I had IPF, and that was eight years ago. Uh, they also do lung function tests. Uh, and my tests have been pretty much consistent over the eight years, which I'm delighted at because usually uh, someone who's diagnosed lives about two, three years. Um, and 40,000 people a year die from this, same as breast cancer. So it's serious stuff. And I'm just so lucky, I think, that uh, it hasn't deteriorated uh, in the last eight years. But I, I've done things to make uh, myself aware of it and do whatever I can. I do pulmonary rehab, which is very important. I do take medication that my doctor recommends. In this case, it's Esprit. Uh, I do mindfulness, which is very, I think, very important. And, and prayer. Those are, all, those are all good prescriptions. Dr. Mm -hmm. Sherman, thank you, Bill, for sharing that. Dr. Welcome. Sherman, let me ask you, <clears throat> are, um, are there any resources for people with IPF? Because he says he does a lot of things, but I know some of those require resources. Absolutely. So being self-aware of your diagnoses and, and, and having some empowerment is obviously very important, as well as having a community which you can you know, share your experiences yeah. with, because you can feel pretty lonely if you've got a, 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 you know, a diagnosis that's not very common. So a great resource that has a lot of information is pulmonaryfibrosis.org, um, and that one is a, a great place to start. If, if you've got the disease and you have more interest in some of the things Bill was discussing, like uh, mindfulness, which is a great technique to calm, you know, deal with some of the anxiety and emotional aspects of this, 
mindful-ipf.com is a great resource for that. Dr. Sherman and Bill Pulmy, thank you so very much for talking about IPF and bringing it to the public's attention. I really appreciate you being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Thanks for having us. Hey, thank you, Valder.